Life's too short to put up with people on your team who take all the joy out of coming to work. Whether you're a salon owner or an employee, life is too short to keep having to accommodate the staff room terrorist. You know the type I mean, the individuals that are hell-bent on ruining it for everyone, often with slightly above average ability, but with supercharged egos, they run amok and they destroy team morale and they poison everyone in their path. I'm sure you've come across them. At some stage, they exist in salons everywhere. I'll occasionally still meet them in other people's salons. Unfortunately, I've even employed the odd one over the years. They don't necessarily start out like that, but for whatever reason, left unchecked, they can be cancerous to the business. And if you let them be, they will do untold damage in the process. You can't change people, but they can change themselves if they want to. The problem is, often they don't want to. They lack the courage to do it on their own. They lack the respect to follow the leader. And they lack the common sense to see that they're destroying their own reputation in the process. Often, the manager has let them get out of control through some misguided idea that because they're creative people, that you have to accept the superstar egos that go with it. Nothing could be further from the truth. But the challenge then becomes how to get them back as a valuable part of the team. Often, it's not possible to rein those out of control egos back in. The damage has been done and the energy and time that you will then be spending on that one person is out of all proportion to what you'll ever get back. So why have they become like this? Often it's because they think that that's how they're meant to behave. So with no parameters, they start to think of themselves as far more creative, far more important, far more valuable, far more of everything than what they actually are. The real shame is that Often if these people were managed properly from the outset, they would respond really well to it. But you have to be firm and you have to be consistent from day one. And they then have the potential to become far better than they will left to their own devices. Often their unchecked, out of control egos will destroy them. They may not always like it, but hopefully, they might recognize that they need it to become the person that they want to be and are capable of becoming. You know, the really talented people in any industry are usually extremely professional, positive, very hardworking, respectful of others, and with a humility about their ability. People like this are a real pleasure to be around. When you have someone destructive on your team. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Because there's always a lesson. I always look for the positive message. When you have people like this on your team, it's not just about their shortcomings, it's also about you. So what can you learn from the situation? Because if you don't learn from it, then it will inevitably happen again. So ask yourself, what have you done or not done as the owner or manager that has let it get this far? Did you employ them on the wrong criteria? For example, because they looked good or were technically competent and didn't employ them based on their attitude? Did you give them a written job description? Did you give them a proper induction and explain the salon culture and the values that you have? Did you give them regular feedback, appraisals and target meetings? Do you have a proper procedure for coaching and issuing verbal warnings? Did you let it go on for too long because you didn't know how to reel them in? And do you feel trapped because they now bring in positive revenue? Life really is too short to put up with it. Occasionally, I meet salon owners who have lost the joy, the passion for their business because of people on their team who are destroying it from within. It's never worth it. Take control, give them an ultimatum. Don't make threats you're not prepared to carry out, get the right legal advice and manage them out of the business, firmly, but fairly. You'll never regret it. So thank you for watching, and if this has been helpful, 
I suggest that you should read my books Grow To Management and Grow Through Team. You can get them both at growmysalonbusiness.com. And if you don't already, can I suggest that you follow me on Facebook and Instagram again at Grow My Salon Business. So have a great week. Thank <laughs> you.